Morning, Steve here in Chicago with the morning grain comments. Well, we have some mixed trade overnight. Uh, we went home Friday with a forecast that uh, there would be rains around uh, the Midwest over the weekend, and there was, especially from Missouri into Illinois and parts of uh, Indiana. We also went home with the thought process that over the next two weeks we would see below normal precip and above normal temps for most of the Midwest. And the maps changed, and they do that uh, this time of year. So right now, it looks like you're going to have two things happening at the same time. Number one, we won't see the heat. But number two, we might not see a lot of moisture either. We've got a tropical depression that's going to come up the Gulf of Mexico. And it looks like it's going to spin right to the, to the southeast part of the U.S., which will bring some pretty heavy rains for the delta in the southeast. And how this tropical depression affects weather will probably be pretty important for the marketplace because out west we have above normal temperatures. So if it drags it into the Midwest in July, that's one trade. If it doesn't, that's probably a completely opposite trade. So overnight we've got beans up about four cents, about 954. That 950 area could be the midpoint of a trading range, 50 cents up, 50 cents down, depending upon what we see as far as weather is concerned. USDA, um, when they come out with their acreage report, a lot of people think that the acres might be unchanged now from their March intentions. We've got people thinking that this year's exports will be higher, which means maybe the carryout's closer to 350, 375. Still not bullish, but not as bearish as what the USDA is saying. And for next year, people are trying to figure out what the yield's going to be. Uh, we expect crop ratings to be about the same tonight, but the crop is starting out uh, shorter than normal. Um, they got plenty of moisture, but just probably right now needs some sunshine uh, to perk it up a little bit. Over the corn, we were down five cents at one time. Now we're down three cents, about three ninety-eight. Again, four dollars is your magic price, plus or minus twenty cents depending upon the weather. As far as the corn S and D is concerned, it's it's all about the yield and where we want to put it. A lot of people are bringing the yield down, uh, which would make things a little tighter, but still adequate globally. Corn also has to be watching the weather in Europe and, and Ukraine to see if lower crops there actually will help our export demand. Right now we're plugging in a little bit lower export demand for next year because of the record uh, Brazil crop. And wheat up about one cent here in Chicago, around 482. Again, the wheat market's watching spring wheat production, whether that's going to help the rest of the wheat market. Also watching some dryness in Europe and Ukraine to see if that's going to help uh, the wheat market. Right now, most people would think from a wheat S&D standpoint, we've got a lower crop. Now, whether that matters anything depends upon globally how much demand there is, supply there is, and what if that brings demand here to the United States. So a mixed trade with corn on the defensive because of weather, beans finding some support, hopefully because of the demand, and wheat trying to establish a new trading range based on the lower spring wheat crop. As always, these are my thoughts and not those of ADM or ADM Investor Services, and have a safe and profitable trading day.